Welcome, to part 2 of Chris Edwards' N-Scale Layout. In part 1 Chris introduced us to his German-based, Twin Peaks Township. As we move through his town, we see freight and passenger trains traveling through detailed scenery. The main street is full of vehicles of all descriptions going about their business under the glare of the video billboard and neon lights. We head up to the spectacular snow-capped mountains above the town. Here Chris has installed two Magnarail systems to operate a ski run plus a snowboarders area. We watch the gondolas make their way up the cables taking snowboarders and skiers alike to begin their adrenaline-filled runs down the mountainside. Before we return to the snow fields, we will have a quick look at the little vignettes or scenes, that Chris has got dotted around his layout. His detail is incredible, considering that this is all in end scale. The Oompa Band Entertaining Diners The challenging multi-level mini golf course is very popular with tourists and locals alike. We have the food vendors, serving the public with takeaway pizzas and crepes as they arrive and depart from Twin Peaks Station. The diners at the alfresco tables, awaiting their wine and food. They are being watched on by the, the tourists and locals going about their business in the main shopping strip. Twin Peaks is one of those layouts that you can spend ages finding all the hidden treasures. Chris is a top storyteller and interpreter of the people of Twin Peaks as they enjoy their day in town. His DCC controlled trains are timed to have a constant stream of freight and passenger train movements. Chris has used a significant amount of Pico boards, as well as time-adjusted relays, to create a smooth running operation without too many hiccups. For the technical-minded, the module contains a double-track railway with two trains on each. The systems are sectioned to ensure that one train can never catch up to the other in the event of a derailment, or stalling, which as anyone knows, this inevitably happens occasionally on every layout. The shuttle tram has a two-minute cycle below the main street. The Magnarail vehicles disappear into the tunnel where they do a 180-degree turn and continue on their way. We will see some of his behind-the-scene photos showing relays and timing switches at the end of the video. The construction of the ski field module was engineered so that the Magnarail section can be removed for transporting. This enables the layout top section to fold over on a mid-section hinge. Chris's top section when folded down creates a 1500mm long by 800mm wide and 600mm high box for transportation. Compressing the ski mountain into the limitations of the module proved to be rather difficult for Chris. A proposed ski bar lift proved to be impossible in the constrained space, so Chris opted for a gondola to do the movement of skiers and snowboarders up the mountain. A Brawa gondola formed the basis for Chris to scratch build the motor and cable mechanism. 
There are two magna rail ski runs on two levels which were also limited by the module dimensions. A highly geared low voltage motor controlled by a Raspberry Pico board with a 30 seconds cycle is the motive power here. There is always something happening on the layout that will catch your eye, be it the magical movement of the N-scale vehicles or skiers, or the detailed scenes dotted around the town. Chris and his mate Tony joined their Alpine modules together, and took out the best and most popular layout of the Christchurch Model Train Show 2022. When Tony returns from a trip I will see if we can get his permission to do a video of his layout which is of equal standard to Twin Peaks and complements it when joined together. I've just tried a program called Speechlow which has an artificially intelligent translation voice. Um, I've been told my voice is very flat and has no character. So I'd be interested to see what you think, whether the AI voice is too off-putting or whether you'd put up with mine in future ones. But I give it a try, see what happens. So leave your comments down below and uh, give me any feedback. But thank you for watching. And as I said previously, we'll try and see if we can get a rundown on Tony's uh, module for you. Um, it looks as great as Chris's. Catch you around then. Bye.